Welcome to another episode of Talks for a Magical Monday, the weekly podcast of the Heralds of the Gospel. I'm your host, Brother Gustavo. For those who are not familiar with the Heralds, the Heralds of the Gospel are a community active in the Catholic Archdiocese of Toronto, as well as several other cities across Canada. Founded by Monsignor Jean Cladias, the Heralds comprise priests, religious, brothers and sisters, and lay people since their pontifical recognition in 2001 by Pope John Paul II. And for those who are familiar with the Heralds, this podcast features the talks following the Heralds' weekly rosary at St. Patrick's Parish in Schomburg, Ontario, where the brothers share some consoling and encouraging thoughts precisely geared to those dreaded beginnings of a probably hard week called Mondays. If you want to know more about the origin of the podcast, please stop right here. Go back and listen to episode number one. So even if today it's not Monday, but you're still commuting or doing chores, take heart brighten your perspectives and enjoy today's talk recorded at the Heralds of the Gospel House in Schomburg. The topic, 8 Benefits of Praying the Rosary Daily. Welcome then to Talks for a Magical Monday, the weekly podcast of the Heralds of the Gospel. Salve Maria, welcome to another episode and today we're going to talk about something that probably sounds a little bit basic but it is very important for the improving of our spiritual life and also to grow in devotion to Our Lady, which is the recitation of the Rosary. Now, you know, we live in this world that says, okay, five benefits on losing weight, seven positive things about uh, exercising, uh, nine, uh, we always go into numbers that probably are going to bring us something good. So today I would like to actually call your attention about what St. Louis de Montfort has to say. And he has eight benefits that come to us with the recitation of the Holy Rosary. And they are fascinating, they are fantastic, and they are very, very important and helpful to help us to keep our constancy in prayer. So this said, let's go to the first one. The first one is, gradually the recitation of the rosary brings us to the perfect knowledge of Jesus Christ. So if we're going to know who our Lord is, the best way to find out is to use the Holy Rosary often. And why? Well, remember, we have mysteries, each mystery of 10 Hail Marys preceded by our Father and our Father are dedicated to particular moments in the life of our Lord, in the life of our Lady. And the more we meditate about them, and the more we pray uh, to our Lady, asking to share her insights, put it this way, or everything that she kept in her heart with us, that's a very, very um, important tool, right? So gradually brings us a perfect knowledge of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> but the next one is go, it goes like this, the number two, purifies our souls from sin. This is, who doesn't want to be purified from sin? Sin is one of the most horrendous marks in the soul. Sin comes from, many times, from what we inherited from Adam and Eve, and we want to get rid of that. And we feel like very often, we feel that we cannot get rid of it. So the best way to attain this radiance of sin is to pray to the Mother of God. So praying the Rosary is something that is going to make us share with her Immaculate Heart, that is going to make us share with the treasures of faith that she kept in her heart, as the Gospel says. Number three, grants us victory over evil. Evil, we know, is everywhere. 
Evil, we know, is always trying to attack us. Mm? Because, of course, we have guardian angels, but we also have the opposite, right? We have fallen angels that are going to do their best to bring us down, their best to make sure we don't go to heaven. So the best shield we can find to get rid of their influence is exactly the recitation of the rosary. And again, it's not Brother Gustavo saying, it's St. Louis de Montfort. So let's pay attention. Next one enables us to easily practice virtue. Virtue is difficult, but it wouldn't be virtue if it was a, an easy thing to attain. Now, for a virtue to be a real virtue, it needs, needs to have one characteristic. It has to be habitual. We cannot just have a, an attack of generosity. We cannot just have uh, an all of a sudden, I don't know, um, uh, a momentary desire of discipline. That's not a virtue. Mm. In order to be a virtue, has to be constant, has to be steady, and has to become a habit, has to become a second nature in our soul. So, the best way mm, to easily practice virtue is to pray and recite the rosary. The next one, that the recitation of the rosary sets us aflame with love of God. And it's interesting to say, because unfortunately, again, because of original sin, because of our bad tendencies, because of our bad habits, because of the ways we are sometimes that are completely wrong, in other words, our defects, it's difficult to have our soul in flame for the love of God. With so many imperfections we carry. But again, here this program is geared for us to find solutions. Some people like always to say, the problem is, and the problem is, let's go for the solution is. And there is no better solution for any of our problems than the constant assiduous prayer. So, here we go. Set us aflame with love of God. So, if we, we have, want our heart to be aflame, to be in flames for the love of God, there's a recitation of the rosary daily, not just monthly, not just yearly. No, daily recitation of the rosary. The next one enriches us with graces and merits. So graces and merits are a treasure we have to make grow throughout our lives. We cannot just carry a life that does not care about virtues. We cannot carry a life that does not care about gathering merits. How many of us would like to have a big savings account? Hmm? That one that is going to help us to buy whatever we need, to help our family. Big savings account that is going to mm, help us in every unpredictable issue that can happen throughout life. Well, we also need a savings account for our soul. <laughs> And those are what? Those are the merits. So if we want to multiply our merits, if we want to make the savings account of our merits grow, recitation of the rosary again. Next one, supplies us with what is needed to pay all our debts to God and our neighbor. How many times we do things we shouldn't do? How many times we just incur in things that we simply should not have done? And we have to make up for those, right? It is not just enough to say, I'm sorry. We need to make up. It is like when someone, someone goes and steals a certain amount of money. It's not just enough to say, oh, I'm sorry I took that away. You have to return it, right? Well, the same thing happens with our shortcomings. We offend God. We have to make up for that too. Best way to do it? the recitation of the rosary. I have to remind you that every time we receive communion, it could be a spiritual communion, every time we go and participate of the Holy Mass, or every time we do a, an adoration for half an hour, right? All those things are essential because the confession, 
recitation of the rosary, receiving communion, gives us a plenary indulgence. So plenary indulgences are very important. That could be part of our, our next program. But finally, the, now the eighth benefit and merit of the Holy Rosary is this. Obtains many graces from God. It may sound vague, but vague for those who do not have intentions. Because if you really have intentions, if you have a habit of repeating those intentions every day, and this is something we recommend everybody a lot, to have a list of intentions, you can make it once and that's it. You can be adding things, but make sure that we use that list of intentions constantly. Because that shows our Lord, that shows our Lady, that what we are asking is not a fleeting idea that just came five minutes ago. It shows that we have seriousness. It shows that we really mean that we want those graces. And also something very, very important. It means that we have constancy. We are asking for the same things all the time. And so, that's super important. So here we went with eight benefits and merits of the Holy Rosary. I hope you benefit with this. I hope we put it in practice. And again, don't forget, like the Memorare says, remember a most gracious Virgin Mary that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored thy help or sought an intercession, was left unaided. We are not going to be left unaided, except for one condition, that we pray. Salve Maria, everyone. we we'll see you soon, I hope. And this is all for today's episode recorded live at the Heralds of the Gospel House in Schomburg, Ontario. You can reach us anytime at one of the Heralds websites, such as heralds.ca forward slash podcast, New Insights Multimedia forward slash podcast, or you can also subscribe on iTunes or anywhere you normally listen to your favorite podcast. And as per now, pray hard, work hard, keep growing in devotion to the Eucharist and our Blessed Mother, evangelize by word and example, and be every day more and more a real herald of the Gospel. <laughs>